Now turn to part two, questions eight to thirteen. You will hear a radio interview with a man called Paul Vaughan, who is talking about his job as a TV cameraman. For each question, choose the correct answer. A, B, or C. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part two. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. So, Paul, you've worked on a range of film, TV and video productions, but what made you decide to become a cameraman? Well, I didn't watch TV much when I was a kid, so it wasn't that. I had an uncle who was a film actor, but I hardly saw him. I grew up in New Zealand, and one day I wandered into my local library and picked up the autobiography of a cameraman who'd worked on some of the first films. I loved it, and knew then what I wanted to do. So, was it easy to get your first job? Well, I wrote lots of letters to TV and video companies. My dream was to work for a news broadcaster travelling all over the world. That didn't happen at once, though I did get to do it in the end. My first break was on an exciting detective film. I got paid almost nothing, but the experience was worth it. Then you went to Australia, didn't you? It was fun, though it was filmed at the hottest time of the year, and I had an unpleasant experience when we were shooting one rather difficult scene on a beach. I had to run through the water following one of the actors. I fell and hurt my leg, but nothing too serious, and we managed to finish filming the scene. And you've won several prizes for your work. Just one, actually. So far, of course. <laughs> and not for anything that most of the listeners today will know. It wasn't like winning a prize for a popular movie or for a special TV advert. It was for a school's programme about the development of the cinema. I was proud of it, though. Mm, of course. So what about plans for the future? Is Hollywood calling? Well, I'm less interested in working with famous film stars than with drama students, actually. They've got skills that the ordinary person with no training doesn't have, but they haven't been spoiled by success. What do you like best about your job? While doing really interesting work, you see the world, but your job isn't always in wonderful locations as people think, and you have lots of opportunities to get to know some wonderful actors and directors. That has to be the best bit from my point of view. Well, thank you very much, Paul.